This is a canyon, or at least it's the skeleton of a canyon, planning out the massive custom biome transformation that used to be just a humble jungle biome. But after four months of preparation, material gathering, and building, we're left with this, a giant but empty outline of what is supposed to be a canyon that is just begging to be filled in. And the first thing we need for that is a bunch of nether bricks. The plan is to start near the bottom of these cliff sides with dark colors and work our way up to lighter colors. But before that, I'm gonna go empty my inventory because last time I really did not want to do anything when I finished that skeleton. Two sh empty shulkers. I'm gonna keep these on me though. I do wanna get another shulker or even a few. All right, I'm gonna go repair my pickaxe and we can start getting this nether brick. And not only nether bricks, but four other blocks to perfect this warm and dark color palette. Let's do this. So I need my tools in tip top shape if I want to make a dent in the massive amount of blocks I'll need for the final product. Let's get it repaired. Perfect. Let's get out of there. Which, after doing some math, comes out to about 35,000 blocks. And that's just counting the walls. At least today, I'll only need to worry about the first layer. Uh, I did four shulkers of terracotta for the skeleton of the canyon. Um, that did not work out. So, for the nether brick, which is only going to be the bottom layer of the canyon, I'm just going to get two shulkers full. But to get those two shulkers full, I need to find a source of nether bricks. Should be right over here. I remember it being in a really funky spot. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to take some time finding a fortress or two, and I'll get back to you if anything happens. If only he knew. He passed the fortress five minutes ago. I mean, I could get the nether bricks by smelting hundreds of thousands of netherite into nether brick. Instead, I'll push the confusion aside and choose the simpler route. Mining it. We now have two shulkers of nether brick, thank god. Next up, while I'm still in the nether, I want to get netherrack, which actually, ironically enough, is the next block in the dark part of the color palette. So, I don't think I can get a full the full two shulkers because my pickaxe is already starting to get low, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, I've been mining some netherrack for a bit. Um, I got a decent amount already, but my pickaxe like I predicted, is almost broken. So. All right, just got my pick repaired for the second time. Let's finish getting this netherrack and see if we can't get some netherite too. <gasps> Ooh, what the? A three vein of debris? Oh my God. This is like finding diamonds for the first time. Ooh. One, two, three again? In the end, not only did I get over two shulkers of netherrack, but I also dug up eight pieces of ancient debris. Considering I don't have any netherite tools yet, these will be very useful. But now that I'm done, all right, that is the second shulker full. It's time for a third repair of my tools and a journey to a recent build. All right, I've stopped at the basilisk, the amazing, beautiful basilisk that I built in episode five because I'm in need of some flowers. And this thing doesn't just give me flowers. No, this thing also deals with concrete. But the concrete's not what I'm here for. I'm here for the flower farm part of it. And boy, has the flower farm been flawless. I only ran it once, and that was while I was building the rest of the basilisk. And that alone was enough to produce all these flowers. So let's get about a shulker full. I don't. I can't imagine needing more than this. But you, you never know. Okay. I need a bunch of these flowers for dyes because the next blocks we're gonna use in the canyon are red terracotta, orange terracotta, and a couple concrete powders. Although the concrete powders won't come into play until the next episode, we do need to get that terracotta. So I dropped flower off back at home, went to the nether, and ventured the 1000 block walk to the nearest mesa biome. Okay, after a little bit of lag, I made it to the mesa biome. I've brought five shulkers just for terracotta. I don't think it's going to be enough, but five shulkers is a good place to start. I'll be honest, this was the least exciting part of the grind for me, considering I wasn't mining as fast as I could. There, there's no beacon, I am not insta-mining any of this. I still haven't fought the wither or even gathered the three skulls needed, so I thought filling up five shulkers worth of terracotta now would be fine. One shulker full. <laughs> oh my goodness. I really wish I had a beacon right now.
Okay, almost two shulkers full of terracotta. And I've been here half an hour. Okay, there's the last stack. We officially have three right there, four, and five shulkers full of terracotta. Now, look behind me is probably where I started, and this is how much I mined. I took an entire slice out of this mesa. <laughs> I'm sorry, mesa biome, I needed it. Okay, finally made it back home. Let's put three shulkers down. These three will be red terracotta. And done. Those are all three shulkers full of red terracotta. I am praying that will be somewhat enough because I don't ever want to do that again. Orange. Boom. Okay. And that's the orange terracotta. And I was just about to take a break for the night when I took a second glance through the resource list. Red terracotta, orange terracotta. What? I wonder if I have any. I have some. Okay. We are so close to being able to begin building this canyon. We need two more shulkers full of a material left, and that is smooth red sandstone. Oh, which means I have to venture all the way back out to the mesa. My mesa biome nether portal is like a thousand blocks, but I traveled two ways. Okay, back to the mesa. And what may have seemed like a very long multiple repair trip grind for the red sandstone for me is a seven second time lapse for you. Made it back home. My pickaxes, my shovels, everything is repaired again. I've got the red sandstone smelting into smooth red sandstone, ready for us to start filling in the canyon. Which, look at this thing, is going to be no easy task. So that's why I'm splitting this project into four segments. The first being the sample, where I fill in one portion of the canyon in its entirety, starting with these circles. Last episode, I mentioned them, but I feel like it was a little confusing about it. So I'm gonna fill them in and kind of explain them a little bit more. This not only gives me, but more importantly you, an idea of what the color palette will look like. The next three segments are similar, but very important to distinguish. Each segment will be relating to a layer of the canyon. Since this set of ledges is so close to the ground, the palette will be primarily filled with darker colors. This is layer one, and as we move up the canyon, the next two layers will start using more and more of the brighter colors, seeing the brightest at the peaks of the canyon. All right, I just fixed this hill. Okay, I really, really, really like that. This pathway, especially, if, let's say, if we come down here, you can very clearly see this lighter pathway. Um, and even up here, you still kind of glimpse it. Pathways like this are essential for navigating different parts of the canyon, and they were only made possible with those circles. Without them, I wouldn't even be able to get into the canyon. Not only do they make a nice trail, but the unnatural shapes give the canyon some much needed character. Okay, the next two layers are in with brighter colors going up, and I think I'm liking it so far. That top one, if you just look at the circle, it kind of looks a little funky. With it all together, I think it looks really good. And it was a great learning opportunity for how I can make the rest of the third layer look even better when I fill it in. But it's time to begin the second segment of the canyon. I'm gonna start at the bottom again, but I'm gonna be working deeper into the valley. Okay, we got some done already, but I'm thinking I'm gonna stop there. There's gonna be this kind of connecting pathway up there. Because as much as I have the skeleton say it's gonna connect there, I'm not exactly sure how the walls are gonna look. Um... I just had to do so much editing to the wall over here. I decided to make another arch. And now that I have an arch, it seems like such an obvious idea. But when I was building the skeleton here, I wasn't thinking about arches at all. I wasn't even thinking about them being a possibility. I was just making tall walls and cascading cliffs and stuff like that. But now that I have arches on the brain, it feels so natural. It does look kind of thin up there, but like I said with the arch over there, it's gonna be covered with another layer. But that won't come until the next episode. For now, I think it's time for our time lapse. I'd say I've spent the last few hours building this wall, this wall that goes all the way over to there, and down here, an arch. 
As much as I would love to keep building this part, I think I'm gonna go back over here and build a canyon that I left right here. After a few hours of uh, building that wall, I think I want to come back and finish. Oh, I have a headache from building the walls all the way down there. And I forgot this little guy. So, I'm gonna fill in this wall that I forgot to because I'm an idiot. And then I'm gonna fill in this wall. Because as I was trying to explain before being interrupted by my own failures, I filled in this part of the sample and this part of the first layer. So to make it look a little bit consistent, I'm filling in this wall too, even though it technically belongs in segment three. Holy moly, this thing is starting to get filled in. And oh my God, it's starting to look awesome. The only thing I'm worried about right now is that I think these walls are super tight. When I was building the skeleton of the canyon, it was really easy to forget what it might look like when the walls are actually filled in. Honestly, as long as they weren't touching, I was happy, which was clearly an oversight. But honestly, I think it should still work out. The other two layers still frame the sun in exactly the way I want it, and those walls are still just as gorgeous. That area is finished and we're ready to continue with the bottom layer. Uh, I'm definitely going to run out. I'm probably... 20% done with the canyon. We're really like 5% done with the entire canyon, but let's ignore that fact. But I'm not out yet, so let's see if I can't at least finish this bottom layer. Wish me luck. Besides taking quite a bit of damage. Oh my God. One thing I absolutely hate about building on mountains is the fact that you're falling about 24-7. The first layer was going seamlessly. Oh, it's so small. Look at these two little cute circles compared to the rest of the canyon. Little babies. Goodness. Here it is. The first layer of the left side of the canyon is done. I honestly can't believe that I had enough resources to even get this far. Sure, I did craft some extra terracotta just in case I ran out, but I never had to use any of it. Meaning I have a bunch of extra resources to keep pushing through this massive project. So much, in fact, that I'm going to begin work on the first layer of the right side of the canyon. I don't think I'll have enough to fill in the entire thing, but let's see how far I get. Okay, I've been planning out this bottom little layer and I'm starting to reach right below where I have an indent planned. That little box shape you see right there. <sighs> but I'm not exactly sure how I'll do it because geologically an indent right there won't really make a lot of natural sense. I don't know if any of that made sense. <sighs> this overhang I plan to build in layer 2 won't look natural if I build it using the terracotta skeleton as a reference. Instead of it having a natural curve, the overhang will just look like a box taken out of the canyon. Hmm, you know what, I'm not gonna worry about it right now. I still have that wall to finish and this wall to get started on. Let's worry about more important things right now. Like ignoring the overhang and focusing on the walls around it instead. Near the beginning, I didn't do a great job matching the colors with its other half, so I will impale myself if this tall wall doesn't pair well. Yeah, and it matches up with that side pretty well. I think I might just tone it up a little bit as we go further down. But before we do that, I want to get that wall filled in. <laughs> Should I just fill in that circle too? I was gonna wait until the second layer, but now that I'm up here, I think I'm just gonna fill it in real quick too. It's insane to look at all these really bright and cool colors and then turn around and see that. <laughs> oh, I'm loving it. I'm imagining it with the spikes and the caves and the structures and the trees and the candles. I mean, what? You'll see what I mean by that in a few episodes. But in the meantime, I've got many, many more walls to fill. And honestly, I'm in need of a break. I'm running out of orange terracotta here pretty soon. And when that time comes, it'll be my chance to step away from all this filling. Okay, I'm getting rid of this line right here that connects or 
that's the problem. It doesn't connect with that one. And this area is too small to have a silly little lip right here. So I'm just going to shave this wall down to meet up with the ledge above it. Okay, taking a break from the canyon. I'm back at the house. I need to grab some dye, even though I'm pretty sure I'm out of the red flowers. Yes, pretty much. Um, I need to dye some more red terracotta and some more orange terracotta. I'm really low, but I have some extra normal terracotta here, which I'll just run over to the basilisk, grab some flowers, and dye into what I need. I'm also going to take this time to change out the smooth red sandstone. Now, I just want to grab this shulker and go fill it up with red roses. So we're going to take a nice, much needed break from all the monotonous placing. Go grab some... Oh... When I'd gotten that first sight in, I was kind of doubting that it would look any good, but from this distance, it's beautiful. I think I was just too close and it was and it was kind of harming the way I looked at it. I'm so proud of it. <laughs> I'm looking at the amount of blocks that are in the walls and it looks like nothing in comparison to that canyon I've been building. Hello, Basilisk. I'm needing more flowers, please. Okay, Shulker is filled with more dye. Mm. We finally head home, dye up some terracotta, and continue that massive canyon. Hi, flower! Now, I just gotta repair my pickaxe, and I guess my shovel too. Okay, I swear, my, my BPM spikes every time I cross this bridge. Okay, guys, okay, I hear you. Oh, I hear you. I'm trying to talk about how, how scary that bridge is, and you're so loud. And done. Yippee! All right, see. You, oh, hello there. All right, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Before you guys lag out my game. Ooh, before one of you guys knock me off, I'm out of here. Okay, my my pickaxe is finally repaired. I don't have to worry about that anymore. My shovel is as well. I've got a refill of netherrack, a, a little bit of a refill for terracottas. I'm ready to keep going. Digging out this hill real quick because I want to be able to have this part of the canyon uh, make contact with the floor. I mean, obviously, sooner or later, this isn't going to be floor anymore, but... You didn't think I was going to leave this ground grassy, did you? Whether it becomes a river, filled with fog, or a deep abyss, I'll have to tear away this floor sooner or later. Doing it now will help. Okay, that was the last little bit of the orange terracotta that I had. <sighs> it's kind of disappointing because technically I'm not even done with the first layer of the canyon. I do have a little bit extra terracotta that I could die, but eight blocks isn't going to get me anywhere. So I'm going to run back to the Mesa biome and grab more terracotta. Oh my god, I did it. I did it. <sighs> Five full shulkers of terracotta. Well, that's about how much more I cut out of the mesa biome. Okay, I gotta repair my two pickaxes, and then I have to go get nether brick and nether rag. Nether brick is done. Gotta go all the way back to where I was mining the nether rack and fill these two shulkers up. Boom, netherrack. And on my way back to the mushroom, I realized I was running out of food. So once I got back home, I rode flower up to the estate. Oh, villagers. How are you guys doing? It's been a long time. Got three more stacks of golden carrots, but I think this is enough to get me through the rest of this canyon. So let's finish layer one. I'm going to grab everything I need and then go back up there. Cause I think I left a wall unfinished. Let's use some scaffolding, because I don't feel like doing this the slow way. I sure did forget a wall. This should be an easy thing to fill in. And boom. But the next set of walls was not so predictable. Um, oh, wait a minute. Should I do it? I just got whacked in the brain with an idea to put an overhang here. It would look so good. So that's exactly what I did and I do not regret it one bit. It actually makes me want to put more overhangs on the other side of the canyon. I'm almost finished, I can't get distracted now.
All right. Hi guys, please don't come over here. I have some talking I need to do. Layer one is done. I did make a few adjustments to the canyon. I even filled in some of layers two and three. I know that kind of broke my rule of separating the video into four segments, but my brain didn't really like it when there was gaps in between walls for some reason. So I just filled those in. But something feels off about this canyon. It's the arch. Now, I don't mean I want to get rid of it. I think it looks beautiful. It's that leg of the arch. I mean, would that be called? A it doesn't matter. That leg of the arch looks funny. And I think if I move the base of it to that ledge right there, so it creates the arch here instead of back there, the silhouette of the arch will look so much better. I wonder how many times I've said silhouette while building this canyon. Anyway, that will be saved for layer three of the canyon when I actually finish the arch. As for today, I've run out of time. Thank you for stopping by and I sincerely hope I've made this boring wall filling experience as entertaining as possible for you guys. Next time I'll be filling in layer two where I'll be adding a couple extreme overhangs. Make sure to check that out. If you want sneak peeks, my Patreon is the place to go. To the people who've already subscribed to it here, you guys mean the world to me. With that being said, my name is Goober. Until next time.